What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't posted a video in quite some time. I'll give you guys a little explanation on that. I actually went to Florida. I had a nice little vacation and I also stopped by my friend Sam's place and we did some work on one of his Ferraris. As you guys know, he has like 10 Ferraris just sitting there. He needed some help so we did a little collab which you guys will see that video quite soon. And then I also just took a little break from YouTube. You know, I actually reorganized the entire shop, did a full clean out, pulled in some of the junk cars that I had sitting outside. And it actually looks really good in here. I actually sprayed a V for V-tuned on the back over there. And then we put the, and then I actually put all the cabinets and everything in the back over there. And then we have our Tecton sign, CarQuest sponsors. And check this out. We actually have all the parts for the Dodge Ram, which we'll get into that in a little bit. And we did also get the key made for this thing. And you got to listen to it. As you guys know, somebody cut the catalytic converters off the truck. Well, they cut one of them off and then they were just too lazy to cut the other one off. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up and you guys are gonna see how freaking loud this thing is with these straight pipes. Honestly, I think it sounds pretty cool. We got the key made right here, which it wasn't cheap. I think it was like 175 bucks, but the key guy came out. He finally had an opening, which I, I we've been using the same key guy for like 20 years and I don't really trust anybody else doing that. So let's go ahead and get this thing started up and you guys are about to hear this 5.7 Hemi Per. Oh, I gotta go grab my jumper box. Got a mighty trusty Fantic jumper box. This thing starts up pretty much anything. Let's go ahead and hook it up. I don't know, it looks like there was like some mouses or something in here trying to eat my battery up. But let's give this thing a crank and, oops. Well, let's give this thing a nice little crank and see how she starts. And I just absolutely love working with sponsors like Fantic. You know, they hook me up with the jumper box because you always need a jumper box when you're at a shop especially when you're working on dodges that love to die there we go we got 16 volts and let me just tell you this thing is loud hey check that out 40,000 miles on me say i gotta thank the thieves for uh making this thing a straight pipe it's gonna sound really nice when i go up the road with this thing which we are definitely gonna have to look into getting some catalytic converters but like i said we didn't have a key so it kind of just sat but now it's time to get into today's sponsor carparts.com So check it out guys, we got all the parts needed to rebuild our truck. We have the front hood, the grill, the fenders, the bumper, even the rims and the headlights. And the coolest thing about all these parts are they came from one website, carparts.com. Carparts.com stocks millions of parts in their local warehouses and it's super easy to order. You simply go to carparts.com, put your car into the vehicle configuration tool and you have everything from the front end of your car all the way to the rear end of your car. They even have a lot of suspension components. Like check it out, we got the rims for this truck and they also have control arms, pretty much anything you could possibly need for your car, carparts.com has it. I've been using them for years and I absolutely love the fact that you can go on the website, order a car part and it'll show up directly at your doorstep. But my favorite part about carparts.com is the price is up to 50% cheaper than the dealership or your local parts warehouse. And they also have a super user-friendly website where you can order parts on the go. And I absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to rebuild your personal car that has a little bit of damage in the front end, or you bought a salvage car and you need some parts, carparts.com is a place with over 50 million parts sold worldwide. They definitely have you covered. So with that being covered, guys, definitely check out the links down in the description. And a big thanks to carparts.com for sponsoring this video and getting our Dodge Ram back on the road. So so now it's time to go ahead and start rebuilding this truck. The first thing we're gonna do is actually pull this truck out when you get all these parts out of the packaging. As you can see, they're all in primer black, which is a nice eco, basically just like the factory finish. What we're gonna have to do right now is get this truck pulled out. I know it's a little bit crippled. You can see we have a flat tire right here. 
because the rim is busted. But good thing we have a couple of rims over there. So let's go ahead and get this truck pulled out because we need to get these parts nice and sanded because I want to get the back sides of everything painted in. And then we could actually install both fenders. We can install the hood. We can probably even go ahead and install the headlights. Maybe even test fit the bumper, make sure there's no frame damage up here in the front. It doesn't really look like there is a little bit of frame damage because I mean, it kind of hit like an embankment. I think it hit a lot of mud and that's kind of what destroyed like all this other stuff. Maybe it hit a tree right here, destroyed this hood, but good thing we have a new hood in here. So let's go ahead and pull this truck outside, get all these parts set up, get them sanded and sprayed in. So guys, we got the truck pulled out and now it's time to go ahead and get all these parts sanded up. We're gonna sand all the back sides of the hood, sand the back sides of the fenders and get everything painted in so we can put everything on the truck. We wanna have everything trimmed out so then we can just close the hood, take it to the other shop and get the whole entire top of the panels painted in. And honestly, I wish I had some stands cause I don't have any stands. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to actually hang all these parts up and get them sprayed in. So let's get them unpackaged and get them set up ready for some paint. got all the parts nice and sanded and yeah i do need to go buy some stands but it's okay this little step stool is rated for 400 pounds uh, we got the fenders both sanded and we also laid the hood down on a trash can which works out pretty good now what we're going to do is go ahead and mix up the paint and get these things sprayed on and then we can pull the truck back inside and get to assembling it so guys we're going to go ahead and mix our paint and here is the paint it's uh one quart it's a pint already reduced to a quart and what I like to do when I'm painting the bottoms of hoods or fenders is I'll mix a dab of clear coat in with it so it hardens the paint up and it also gives it that nice matte finish. And I'm pretty sure that's what they do at the factory. So let's go ahead and mix up our paint and get all these parts sprayed in. got the paint all nice and mixed up and let's go ahead and paint all these parts in So there we have it, all the parts are nice and painted and it kind of sucks painting inside because we give everything a nice sparkle finish that has a nice metallic in it. But now what we're gonna do is go ahead and pull the truck back inside. These parts are pretty much already dry. It's really hot outside and we use some medium uh, reducer. So it did dry up pretty quick. So let's get the truck back inside and get to work on it. So we got the truck back inside and now what we're gonna do is actually start working on the front end of this thing. We do have a new bracket right here. This is the headlight bracket, it just broke off check that out and it just unbolts right there you can see on the driver's side where this bracket goes all the way like this so let's go ahead and unbox this thing and get it replaced So we got the entire bracket nice and replaced and I also went ahead and sanded up. There was a little bit of area where paint came off so I sanded it up, gave it a nice fresh coat of paint. So now the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove this uh, hood right here. Before we install the fenders, I want to put the new hood on so that way whenever I'm installing the new hood, I don't damage the fenders because it is only me working here right now. So let's go ahead and replace the hood.
So guys, we got the hood on the truck and it wasn't really that easy doing it all by myself, but I managed to put it on without scratching any of the paint. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and throw on both fenders and line up all the gaps perfectly. So guys, check it out. We got the entire front end back together on this truck and it turned out awesome. All the gaps lined up perfectly. Basically just like OEM, we got everything lined up right there. And same thing here, everything is literally awesome. Car parts just definitely is the place to get aftermarket parts for a lot cheaper than what they are at the dealership. Same thing with this side, everything lined up good. Although I am having a slight little issue right here with this hood hinge. Cause as you guys know, on that hood over there, it was kind of punched directly right here. And I think what it did is it bent the hood or it bent the hinge a little bit down. That's why you can kind of see that the gap is a little bit off, but it's okay. We'll probably go ahead and order a hinge from carparts.com. And then we did have a little mishap with the fender. I did kind of drop it, which I'm glad it was only like two feet drop because all it did was put a little bit of a dent right there, right there, which is all good. We'll do all the body work here in a little bit. But now what we're gonna do is go ahead and finish putting this entire front end back together. We also have our beautiful headlights right here. And we did decide to go ahead and do a little bit of an upgrade instead of having the basic uh, base model headlights we went with the projector led headlights which are going to look super nice on this truck so let's go ahead and get this entire front end back together so we're going to go ahead and start putting this front end together i want to show you guys the difference this is the factory headlight right here a subscriber actually sent me these in so big shout out to him but we are going to be doing the upgraded headlights check these out right here these are the uh projector headlights i think they just look a lot better man check that out we got the little chrome in the inside it's all high gloss black i absolutely love the way these look these are only on like the laramie and the limited edition trucks but the cool thing is carparts.com sells everything and it's going to plug directly into our oem plugs down here so i think there's only yeah there's only one plug on the original one i kind of don't like base models but honestly it's not that much to just upgrade them a little bit so what we're going to do right now is go ahead and throw everything on this front end we'll even throw on the grill and the bumper and get this thing all lined up perfectly So we got both headlights on and man, does that look a lot better than these basic base model ones. So we're kind of trying to unbase model a base model truck. And I think this is just gonna make the front end look really good and pop. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and throw on our front bumper and our grill and this thing will be ready to drive over to the other shop. So guys, check it out. We got the entire front end back together and man, does it look good. This is actually an OEM uh, type grill right here. It is gonna be painted uh, color of the truck. It is a pretty cool color right now. I wish the old truck was that color, but we also threw on the bumper. We are still missing the plastic behind there, but I kind of just threw it on there to see how everything would fit up. Plus we're gonna drive this thing over to the dad shop and get it nice and painted in. Now what we're gonna do is we need to go get some tires mounted on these rims right here. These are also from carparts.com. They're OE replicas, which they're freaking awesome. I mean, they match the original style just like that right there and they're much cheaper. So what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and load these up in the Subaru, take them over to the tire shop, get it put on because as you can see, we have the spare tire on the front end over here and then we have this little super skinny gunny wheel man these things always help me out like think about it before i had any uh, rims for this thing i just slapped that on there and it was super easy to move the truck around so we're gonna go to the tire shop get these tires mounted on and then i think this truck is ready to go over to my dad shop and start prepping it for some paint 
to a tire shop right now. We're gonna get two used tires put on these rims just so we can get that truck moved around. And then after we get the used tires on there, we are actually gonna head over to my dad's shop because he does have a bedside from a customer's uh, truck that he's actually not using. He actually just left it there and he said I can have it, which is a good deal, you know, free bedside's always good. I got my Sawzall and the Sawzall blade, so we'll probably go over there, cut it off, and then bring it over to my shop so we can start working on that bed. So let's go to that tire shop, get these tires put on. So guys, we just made it to my dad's shop and check this out, I got a brand new Sawzall and some Sawzall blades. Now let's see what's going on over here. Check this out. What do you guys think this is? Can't show you too much of that project, but that y'all have to check that out on my brother's channel, 23rd Garage. I'm pretty sure it's a 2020 Bronco, but here is the bedside we are gonna be using right here. This is off a customer's truck. He actually replaced his bed because uh, the other side is absolutely obliterated. I don't know if you can see down there, it's completely destroyed. And he just decided to go ahead and get a whole new bed. And checking out this bed, it's in pretty good shape compared to mine. I like the way that it has the spray in bed liner. And man, I'm kind of wondering what if I use my bedside to fix this bedside because this one looks in a little bit better shape, especially inside over here. Hold on, let's check out some of this damage. This is like the scrap pile right here. You can see there's all kinds of parts, exhaust, stuff like that. They even got a daggum airplane right here. Oh no, it's pretty bad. It is destroyed. Where is it? Yeah, you can see it, 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 it ruined this bed pretty good. So yeah, I think the best option will be just to cut this bedside off and use it on our truck. So guys, we're gonna go ahead and grab the Sawzall and give this thing a nice trim right in the center. So guys, we got the entire bedside cut all the way through, but unfortunately I thought my brother was here and I could borrow his truck to take this bedside over to my shop, but he's not. So we have to do that a later time. Now let's head back to my shop, get those wheels and tires on that truck and hopefully get it pulled outside and maybe start sanding it down for some uh, paint. So guys, we're back at the shop. We got both of our tires right here. And as you can see, we did just buy some used cheap uh, junky tires. They're a little bit bald, but honestly, who cares? I'm gonna buy a whole new set later because I need a new tire for here and a new tire for over there. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep these rims just yet. Maybe we'll change them up a little bit. We do have a rough country lift for this truck. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and swap out this gunny wheel that served us well. Honestly, guys, if you're looking for a universal spare tire, make sure you check out gunnywheel.com. They have, uh, this is for the truck and I think they have the ones for the Mustang. Well, for the, like the passenger cars over there. So let's go ahead and install both of these tires on the truck. So guys, check it out. We got the entire truck back together and man, does it look awesome. We got the entire front end, on it we got the new uh projector style headlights which i think look a lot better than the other ones that we had the chrome ones the base model looking headlights i didn't really like them so i'm super glad we picked those up from carparts.com which and it ties in with the sport bumper which this was a sport truck i don't know it's kind of a weird spec it's a sport base model slt but i think it's gonna look awesome especially with the painted grill which is also a factory option on this thing i guess somebody just they didn't really want to pay for the sport price but they got the sport package which i think it looks super cool especially once it's all gonna be painted the truck's just gonna be absolutely beautiful and that's pretty much everything we're gonna do in today's episode i hope you guys liked it this truck is coming along we're gonna drop it off at the paint shop and maybe get the boys to help me uh, get this thing painted because it kind of sucks working all by yourself especially over here you kind of sometimes just lose motivation to do stuff but you know i'm glad that we got the entire front end back together on this thing i think we'll come over there they'll probably help me out maybe they'll make a video also and we can get this thing back on the road because i'm kind of sick of it just sitting on the background you know i know i was focused on the mustang for quite some time and i really want to get back to that car but i got to get this truck done because the ranger i think the thermostat blew up in it so it started overheating and stuff like that 
and this is gonna be a much better truck i think we'll go ahead and get a trailer so we can start towing and stuff like that but if you enjoyed today's video go ahead and hit that subscribe button also follow us on instagram at vtune thanks for watching